It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to learn how to write a real-world equation to represent a real-world situation. We are told that kites and spools of kite string are sold at a toy store. We are given that each kite costs $5, including tax, and each spool of kite string costs $3, including tax. We are asked which of the following equations represents C, the total cost in dollars, of K kites and two spools of kite string at the toy store. And we're given four equations to choose from. Here's where you're gonna pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we have a question here, and we're gonna focus on that, and we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna use color and highlight the important parts, and I would encourage you when you're doing this to write them down on your paper and using the circles and squares, rectangles, triangles to differentiate between. So let's break this down. We're asked which of the following equations. So we know that C is the total cost. That means C is gonna to equal to K kites and two spools of kite string. So we're gonna have our total cost is equal to the number of kites we buy plus two spools of kite string. So let's fill this in. We don't know our total cost, but they told us to use C to represent that. K kites, we don't know how many kites we're buying, but we do know that each kite costs $5. So five times K will be an algebraic expression that represents the cost of buying K number of kites. So $5 per kite. So five multiplied by the number of kites you buy would equal the value of the total cost of those kites. But when we're at the counter paying, we're also purchasing two spools of kite string. We're told that each spool costs $3 and we're gonna buy two. So we're gonna put two multiplied by three here, or you might put three plus three. But we know that this value right here, we're adding on specifically two spools of kite string. So let's rewrite this. So we have C is equal to 5K add six. The product of two multiplied by three is six. So now if we knew the number of kites we were purchasing, five times that number, add six for our spools of spring would equal our total cost. Now we can see that that is answer choice A. C equals 5K plus six. And there you have it. That is how to write a real world equation representing a real world situation. And that is the magic of math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.